Okay, I wanted to talk about my experience with <clears throat> hyperbaric oxygen therapy for the first time. Um, so I feel like this is like, I don't know, not talked about that much. <clears throat> um, so I went um, on Monday and I guess like first um, quick... Um, background information about me is that I have been struggling with dysautonomia and yeah just like severe insomnia and nervous system dysregulation um and just like cognitive like deficits and all of this kind of stuff ever since getting the vaccine in April of 2021 so um yeah, Monday I finally decided that I wanted to give it a try because I was thinking about buying my own machine. And um, I went in and the guy said he had also been vaccine injured, but he had like healed in a few months of doing it. Um, but then when I asked him more about his, his seemed more like he had just really bad heart problems after getting it. Um, and... So his was like, a, I guess, a little different from mine. Um, but so I went in and, um, you know, it went, it seemed to go pretty well. It was at 3 p.m. He said it was like 89% oxygen concentration and um, it seemed to go pretty well. And then I got out and I felt a little like dizzy and uh like I had like a slight th sore throat but I thought it was like from being thirsty I was like super thirsty um and then um I s left and then I started to like the those kind of symptoms started to go away and then I was just like I just felt like in a really I was in like a good mood and all this stuff and like um but then I went home and I didn't sleep like at all and I felt like my brain was just like really wired it was just like like I could just feel there was something off and um then I started like asking around in some of the Facebook groups and they were like yeah it could be like a Herxheimer reaction or um they're like a lot of times you need to do it like in the morning and then one girl was like I can't even do 1.3 ATA I have to do 1.1 ATA and, um, so yeah, yesterday was like really intense and I was just like, what if I never sleep again? Cause last time I had a really, last time I did, I did like a therapy, um, or I had like a holistic practitioner who like had no idea what they were doing. Give me like, they prescribed me like tons of iodine, like like 2,400 micrograms. And I was like, I'm not gonna take that much. So I'll just take like a really small amount. And since it's such a small percentage of what they prescribed, it'll be safe, but it wasn't. <laughs> so I didn't sleep for like three days and I ended up in the emergency room and my eyes were like rolling in the back of my head. And then I just like caved and like took Ambien but then since then I've like, I stopped taking it almost immediately, actually cause it stopped working, but also cause it like wasn't working and it's really dangerous. Um, but yeah, so I finally slept last night after a really horrible day yesterday of just like being awake and not being able to sleep and stuff. Um, I like finally was just like, okay, I'm just going to meditate. And I meditated for like two hours and then I got like a hour nap yesterday. But anyway, so then I like, I finally slept and I was like, oh yay, I like slept really well, all this stuff. And then like, so normally like even with like everything that's been going on, like when I sleep well, that normally means like, okay, I can kind of take on the day um, and all this stuff. Uh, at least to some extent, but like today I like slept really well and I'm just like, I don't know. I just feel off still. So like, I don't know, like I'm not really sure what to do. And I 
I was talking to my other friend who actually did the same thing on the same day, but he did longer, he did like a longer session and he, but he's not like, he doesn't have like an injury like me. Like, um, he said he just has like brain fog and stuff sometimes, but like, even he said that he like, isn't really feeling very good. Um, and I don't know, I think it could be like a detox, like Herxheimer reaction, but I also think that this stuff is like similar to supplements and it's like super wild west and we have no idea like how this stuff is going to affect each individual. And I think that what happens is like people will have maybe have certain like gene mutations that allows for them to, or it basically will just cause them to detox in a different way. Um, maybe even like slower, or if you have the HLA loci on your chromosome, then that means that you metabolize things differently and you should not be given vaccines. Um, or you definitely like have different ways of detoxing things. Um, and I think that like these practitioners in these clinics, like don't, they don't take any of this into consideration. And, um, I'd been studying HBOP for like 14 months and I was hoping that that was like enough time to like catch something that could like happen. Um, but I had never heard of anybody like needing to do like only like 10 minutes of HBOT at like 1.1 ATA. Um, I had only heard of like, I don't know, I guess I'd only heard of like an hour, but then the guy was like, oh, we'll just do 30 minutes. And I was like, oh, that sounds good. And like, um, but yeah, it turns out that apparently you can have like really strong reactions to things and I do feel like this like um has happened to me like before with things like with acupuncture um and that was actually before the vaccine too it was like with acupuncture I had this like really intense reaction and people were like I don't know it was just kind of like it's like I don't know if that, like how, like, why, why that happened. But anyway, um, so yeah, it just kind of seems like, I don't know. I'm not really sure how I'm going to heal from this. Like, I'm kind of thinking that I might just need to do really, um, extended fasting and niacin and just like really hope that that works um, because I do not, I still don't feel good from doing the HBOT and I'm like definitely worried that this is going to be um, I don't know, I'm sure it's probably just like a Herxheimer reaction and that my body's just like doing like a really heavy detox or something um, I'm just kind of like hoping that, yeah, obviously that it like, that that is the case and that I'm just gonna, I'm sure it is and that I'll just like heal from it or whatever. Um, I'm gonna try to drink like a lot of water even though I'm like not thirsty at all. Um, just to kind of help like flush things out. Um, but yeah, let me know like what your experiences are with it. Um, apparently this could be like a really powerful therapy if, you know, if it's done properly and if there are like, if there are dosages that, if there are things taken into consideration, like your history and, you know, if, like, I think I did say something to the guy about like going even slower and then he was just like, no. And so it's just kind of like, it's almost kind of like with, it's like the same thing as like a supplement. It's like, you have to do it low and slow. 
Um, and I think that anybody that works at these places um, and that doesn't say that as like a default for anybody is like irresponsible. And I think that people that don't like, like somehow know about or recognize that, you know, there are people that can't just like, like people are individuals and we all have like different biochemistry and everything. Um, and yeah, I just think it's like irresponsible to just like tell people that they can just do the same thing as everybody else. Um, so yeah, I think that hopefully I'll be able to do videos that are more put together <laughs> in the future as I get better. But I just wanted to, I've been putting off like talking about my journey for like a year and a half but I'm still in it and it's been a year and a half or longer um, now and I just want to like start talking about it because I think it's could be helpful for other people and it's also interesting and I also just like don't want to die with my story just like um, <laughs> just stuck with me or whatever with my story, die with my story inside me or whatever. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start talking about it and hopefully I'll find the answers pretty soon because I should be getting close at this point, but who knows? So thanks for listening and I'll keep y'all updated.